In today's video, we're going to show you how to remove the basket drive out of your Whirlpool built style washer. First thing we want to do is remove the cabinet from this machine. To do that, we're going to need a thin bladed putty knife and we're simply going to use it to release the catches on the console as well as remove the clips that allows us to remove the cabinet. So we'll just insert our putty knife here between the top of the cabinet and the console, just pushing in, apply a little bit of upward pressure and it frees that corner and we'll do the same on the other side. And that allows us to flip our console right up. The next thing we'll want to do is take a blade screwdriver and remove these latches. To do that, we're just going to insert the screwdriver into it and pull back and it releases that clip. There's one on the other side, but before we do that, we're just going to disconnect this harness for the lid switch. To do that, I'm just going to lift the locking tab wiggle the harness off, and it's now free. Just go to the other side using our blade screwdriver and press it into the latch. And again, just pull backwards and releases it. Now with that disconnected, we're able to take our cabinet and just tip it forward and lift it right off the machine. Now that we have this exposed, there's some pieces we need to start to take apart. And we may as well start by removing our fabric dispenser off our agitator. Some models, it just lifts right out. Others may have a blue collar around here that you have to snap upwards and that'll release it. But either way, we'll remove our fabric softener. So the next thing we wanna do is there's a bolt that holds the agitator in place and there's a cover on top of it. So we're just gonna reach in and pull that cover off. Now, depending on the type of model of this machine and the agitator that's on it, it may have this, it may not. If it's there, remove it and just take your 7 16 inch socket, loosen that bolt right up. So now with the agitator bolt loosened right off, we're able to just reach in, grasp the bottom of our agitator and lift it up and off the transmission shaft. So most models that have a dual stage agitator have this little device on it, which is it, an agitator assist. And what it does is allow the, when the basket turns, it engages and makes the agitator spin with the tub. And the purpose of that is so that if you have a fabric softener that mounts on the top, it spins that softener so it'll move it from the inner chamber to the outer. So it's just an assist piece. If you don't have that type of dispenser, you may find that your machine does not have this and you don't have to worry about it. You just pull the collar off and the plastic piece off as well and set that to one side. Next piece you want to remove is the drive lug nut. This nut locks the inner basket to a collar. Now there is a special tool the manufacturer makes for doing this. You can see it's just a wrench with four tabs to it and those tabs lock into these indents on the tub nut. So you just set that on and then with your hammer you'll just whack it until you get that nut to come free. It's just regular right hand thread, nothing special about it on this one. And you do want to try and do this with short, abrupt strokes, because if you make big swings, you may very well damage the porcelain on your tub. So you're going to want to just give it some hits, and that'll free it. If you don't have this wrench, there is an option where you take, say, a, a good sized box end wrench. You can put it into these slots, and then just give it a bang. And then just unthread the nut and set it on the bench. So now to remove the tub ring, it's very easy. They have these plastic tabs that lock into the tub. So you just take your fingers and just pull them off and you'll want to do that all the way around. With those released, the tub ring will slide right off. Our next step is to remove that inner basket and if it's never been apart before, you may find it's on there pretty tight that when you go to lift it off, it doesn't want to come. So just take on the tub and press downward. Until you feel it start to wiggle a little bit and then just <coughs> wiggle it. And when it's ready to be able to lift off, just tip it forward, tip your tub forward. 
so that when you lift this, you're clearing your, your dispenser. Now the last thing we need to remove inside here is just the drive lug. And we're just gonna tap it from underneath and that releases it from the basket drive and we'll set that over on the bench. So now that we have the inner basket out and the drive lug off, we're just gonna flip our console over. I'm gonna pull the machine head a little bit and lay it on its back. Now with it on its back, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna release the clips for our pump so that we can get that out of the way. And those just a matter of lifting them up or pushing them down, whichever way you're, whichever one you're going at, you just give them a little turn and they come right off. That allows you to wiggle your pump off your motor shaft and it's free and clear. The next thing we'll want to do is remove the electrical harness from our motor. And you can see it's just one little tab that holds it. Just going to lift that tab, wiggle our harness off, and it's free and clear. The harness is also held to the transmission as a bit of a clip to keep it from hanging down on the floor or getting caught up. Spread them open and your harness will drop out. So now our next step is to remove the transmission and to do that we're going to remove the three bolts that hold it. You can see there's one here, one here, and another one here just underneath the motor. So you just need a half inch socket and your ratchet wrench. Now with those three bolts removed, we're able to slide our transmission and motor off together as one unit. So our basket drive does two things. One, it drives the basket to turn it, but it also has a brake so that when the machine is told not to be spinning, the brake is applied and the drum won't turn. So to pull this out, we need to release that brake. So we're just gonna move that cam and rotate it and pull at the same time and our basket drive comes right out. And that's how easy it is to remove your basket drive. Mm -hmm.